In the nature and power of Allah, the man sees spiritual insight and perceive with all truth. The man sees all praises due to Allah, and I give on to his holy and illustrious prophet, Nuhu Juali. In this class two of the nationality concept and consciousness class, I'm going to try to bring you up to speed right quick on some of the things that you missed, and then try to bring up, try to bring up the uh, modern day usage and application of nationality. Um, not so much as opposed to, you know, prior, you can step up to the table here. Um, not prior to uh, America, but as far as the inception of citizenship in America, the application of nationality in America, and uh, how it affects us as a people and as a whole. So we're going to start with, um, jump right into the lesson, we're going to start with nationality. In order to speak about nationality, we have to know what it is. So, um, sister, sister Danielle, could you give us uh, briefly what is nationality? Nationality is the quality of that that arises at the fact of a person who belongs to a nation or state. That quality of character that arises from the fact of a person belonging to a nation or state. Are they ever kind of paper? Hmm? You have a pen and paper? Oh, my own person? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, you might want to start taking these notes. Nationality is that quality of character that arises from the fact of a person belonging to a nation or a state. So now when we're speaking about nationality, by the way, that's a legal definition. But a layman's definition or a regular person, as you know, the average civilian, civilian also means one who is knowledgeable in law. That is what the one that that is. Civilian. Is. One who is knowledgeable in law pertaining matters. So, for the average person, when we talk about nationality, we want to give them, you know, a regular definition, nothing too crazy. Once you go into black soil and things of that nature, people seem to, uh, you know, they feel threatened by, you know, I guess definitions and all that. A lot of people are, are threatened by dictionaries. But, um, you know, we're going to go into this American Heritage Dictionary. The last copyright was like the year 2000, so this is modern English. And when we look at nationality, I'm looking it up with y'all too. I'm not going through all the time. But um, nationality is the legal relationship between a person and a country. You got that? Right. The legal relationship between a person and a country. Say it again, brother. Nationality. The first uh, definition here is the status of belonging to a particular nation by origin, birth, or naturalization. I would like, um, let's start with you. Read me the second definition for nationality. And so even when you ask somebody, what's your nationality? When you give somebody, 
your nationality? Do you really know? Do we really know what it is that we're communicating? Do we have the credentials? The credentials, the prerequisites, the requirements is that a nation be a people, an aggregation of men, a collection of people, sharing the same customs, culture, tradition, religion, language, historic continuity, and then the last part is body politics. An organized drill society or body politic. If I had a board here, I would just write down custom. You know what I'm saying? So that you understand that you can you can literally number these things, number it. Because once you have everything is mathematics, and once you ascribe numbers to things, then you ascribe an identification term. You know what I'm saying? Identifiers. I identify that this is this. You said this, I, you said four, but I didn't see one and two there. I only saw three and four. So is that four or is that two? It depends on what I see. What you see isn't what you know. So going back into nationality, you only know what it is that you can see. Customs, culture, tradition. So if the people don't have customs, then they, they, don't, they don't fit the description of nation. If these people don't have no culture, but they have customs and traditions, even their own religion, but you don't, you don't fit the, you know, the sphere, the, you know what I'm saying? So now, a nation has what? Customs, what are customs? Somebody tell me what customs are. Like practices. Ooh, break it down, what else? Um, rituals. Mm-hmm. Rituals coming from rites, like a rite of passage, or something, but, Dictionary. Boom. Because we, we have an idea of what these words mean, but until we know what they really mean, we're just going on what we think we know. You know? So I used to think my nationality was black. No, I didn't. I apologize for lying. I used to think my nationality was Puerto Rican. You call me black and it's problems. That's how I knew. It wasn't really a big deal to stop calling myself black and someone else brought that knowledge to me because it was like, I ain't been letting people call me black in Spanish. And I turned around and I was cool in English. I, I, sound, I sound crazy. You know what I'm saying? What, is, what are customs? A practice from a people of a particular group or a By a particular? So it's not just practices. So it's not just practices. These practices are known for being of this group. Now, if a nationality is a people, naturally their practices will make up what these people are. Can anybody tell me the customs of black people? Sheesh. Just one custom. I give you something that's custom, a, a custom for black people. Going to church. <laughs> going to church. Let's go into the science of church right after the science of the, that right there was what? I extended my energy and one of our customs is to exchange energy. The exchange of energy though goes deep because now when I give you that doubt I'm exchanging my life force, I'm going into my electromagnetic field interacting with yours. I'm sharing my thoughts, I'm sharing my actions, I'm sharing what I did five minutes ago. And I'm giving you all of that. And then I make sure I take some with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the custom of black people. Now, if we knew each other like that, right, we wouldn't be worried about it. We don't know each other like that. So we exchange people, we exchange energy with people at all times. But we still Boom, and then you go back, boom. That, that custom that we have, uh, uh, constantly sharing the energy outside of our own circumference or our own patterns or our own, um, I guess, coming outside of our own customs, you know what I'm saying? We never identify with ours. And so, we see a custom, like St. Patrick's Day, you know what I'm saying? And you see the Asiatic come out with the Kiss Me on Irish shirt. You're not Irish. Well, you know, I got a great grandfather that's part Irish. 
I have a great, 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 great grandfather that is from Ireland. That doesn't make you Irish. Because Irish is a people, not a place you came from. And black is not a people or a place you came from, which is why it's so difficult to identify black customs, because customs are practices that belong to a people or region, and black is in a people or a region, which is why when you ask that question, you get silent. Unless somebody is being real creative and understands that the customs of black people are in fact customs of Moors passed down through generations that have been relearned but not taught in a manner that would be conducive for the buildup of Asiatic knowledge, which will bring about an esteem that would be raised, thereby giving you pride and other tools in society that would make you um, independent, subservient, self-reliant, you know, things of that nature, i.e. a bad slave. Let's go on to culture for a bit. What is culture? Brother Dame Dash said that some of these people are culture vultures. Whose culture are they constantly being vultures upon? Oh, black culture. Preying on the dead carcass, because that's what vultures eat. And we know that the black people are the spiritually, emotionally, mentally, politically dead people. So what is culture? Did that say institutions? Yes. So the institutions of what is a black people institution? Church. <laughs> Pyramids. Pyramids? Uh, uh, Universities. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give you that one, guys. I'm gonna have to give you the pyramid one. Alright, no, not really, because pyramids were made by um, the Coptics, not black people. Universities, the first universities are, are, are uh, institutions of studying the universe are originated by the Moors. You know, we're not black, so that can't be black culture. Fried chicken. Music. Hip hop. The original people who have been calling themselves Negroes, Blacks, and Colors, they formed hip hop, and hip hop became an entire institution. Once hip hop, the thought was institutionalized. Remember, we were talking about justice, knowledge added on to the cipher, and justice being um, the freezing point for water, and it manifested in the physical. Hip hop had a high vibration when it first, when it first came. It started getting a little colder, it started materializing itself. You know what I'm saying? And then it became palpable. Then it became something that could be institutionalized. After becoming an institution, everybody who had been institutionalized along with it, they started to be able to control them because the institution was a portion of their being. Their being a people, people having nationalities, that nationality, having a culture, portion of the culture of the nation's people known as Negroes being hip hop and that being constantly propagated everywhere we go because it was one of the only outlets that we had as a people for expression. And once that institution had been taken from us and started being controlled externally, we as a result started getting control externally. And by getting that external control over us, we started going from rapping about, you know, we went from the black man is God to your do this to your moms after I'm done with your sister. Then I go to the police. I know you're talking to misters, but I told on you first. You're like, whoa, what are you rapping about? What are you? What is this? Why would you tell people to do? Why would I'm saying this so now you're hearing all types of messages being sent as far as violence, as far as you know, sex, as far as drugs, and what you get or what the uh, actual outcome is. Culture also. What they call, or somebody coming in, you know, see what it says. Um, people coming in, taking the best part for themselves, you understand, and then giving you back something that was yours, but now it's grafted or it's been formed or no longer original. And you're taught that it's yours, so you, you know, accept it. And 
Now we talk about nationality, custom, and culture. Once we got that done, and we were, one of the first things that U.S. had was started speaking on was traditions. So let's go on to traditions. What is a tradition? Check this out, nationality, right? Right, right. Nationality is our way. All right, sorry. Let's take the time, go ahead. Nationality is the legal relationship between a person and a country. What are uh, traditions? Nationality, law definition. Well, let's talk about it says that it is passed down. The word generations is used, right? Generations. The root word is generate. And that's creation. Creation, recreation, or reproduction. We talk about reproduction, we talk about lineage. That means that tradition is intimately related to nationality because the nationality is passed on. And the things that, you, that that nationality does is in fact the... Come on, say it loud. Thank you. Um, the quality of character, the quality of character that arises from the fact. Um, sister, look up religion for me. That what? That arises from the fact yes. of a person belonging to a nation or a state. Islam. 
Islam is not an English word. It's a word that derives from a language which is mathematics, referred to today as Arabic. A language that nobody on the planet supposedly speaks. Okay. Well, that's what I'm linking to that. Until then, though, we have to think of what we mean, or what, not what they mean, because we understand this is an American Heritage Dictionary. So now we understand what society means. Now, how do we relate to society? Once more, nationality is the. Quality. Mm -mm. The legal relationship between a person and a country, and we know that a country is a type of society. So in society, we got to socialize, we have to be social. Now we know that our problem is so-called American Negro, social, economic, political, as well as moral and spiritual. Before we go into the morals, because that's, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm not really, you know, going out there trying to get people's morals right, right now. I'd rather, you know, let's, let's talk about the spirit, because if you breathe them right, you start acting right. Sure. You might want to start eating right. You might want to start living right. Let's just concentrate on your breathing first. Are you breathing? Before we get to what you're doing, how are you doing? How are you interacting with your country? This is why America is founded and built on religious freedoms, you see. America is built and founded on, you can do whatever you want here. Hey, it's the land of the free. Hey, you want to enslave somebody? Man, ain't nobody's going to stop you. You want to take away somebody's nationality, call them an evil black of color, and never remove them from their illustrious history with a flag that extends past 50,000 years? Yeah, go ahead, do that. It's the land of the free. Do what you want. But you know you got to have that permission to do that to them. You see, I could just punch brother in the face. But if I don't have his, if I don't have his permission, I may have to suffer the consequences. Now, the consequences are that I lose the usage of my arm. I may think twice before, you know, wanting to exercise certain freedoms. So now we have to understand, what does it mean by exercising religious freedoms and how can we use these religious freedoms? Because a religious freedom is basically exercising the capacity to see things the way your people do, acknowledging where it comes from, right? And then calling it your own. The so-called Negro in Christianity, the so-called Negro doesn't own anything, period. So it's not going to be a religion thing. Oh, I'm going to use Christianity. Oh, I'm going to use Judaism today. Oh, today I'm a Muslim, and now you're going to get these freedoms. This, this is. Now how it works, what's your national, what's your relationship with this country in order to gain whatever it is that you're talking about we owe you or that you owe yourself that you can gain through us. So now we did custom, culture, tradition, and religion. What's the fifth one that I said? Man, it's in, and it's in the notes soon. It's actually in the definition of nation. Oh, body politics? Ooh, now it's seventh one. You know it? You don't know it? Language. Thank you. Boom. Language. Early. What language does your nation speak? See, when we talk about nationality, right? And we want to talk about Scottish people. You know, you know Scottish people, they, they speak Scottish. But British people, they don't speak English. Colombians don't speak Colombian. Nicaraguans don't speak Nicaraguan. And so called blacks, they don't speak black. So, if every nation has a language, what is the language of your nation and where does it come from? Because we remember that customs was, you know, by region. Was the customs by region? Was it? Did you write there? Ooh, should have wrote it down. It's still time, the dictionary still out. We want to write down custom, culture, tradition, and religion. We want to have those definitions as far as um, colloquial language. Colloquial language. So, you know, when we're communicating with people, 
I understand what I'm saying to you because you understand what I'm saying until I can bring you back up to what I've been saying to you. I meant you wasn't understanding because we were speaking two different Thank you, languages. Now, if one nation speaks one language and there's not that miscommunication, with that miscommunication comes good order. With order comes organization. With organization comes politics. So you understand that you can't have the body politic without first having the custom, culture, tradition. What comes before language? Religion. Boom. So what is the language? See, this is what I'm saying. These are words, these are regular words we use every day. We always, I'm saying, we understand it, but we really don't know what it is that we're talking about. We feel. So we may have the knowledge, but we didn't use wisdom, but we didn't righteously apply this knowledge in order to gain an understanding of the subject. You know what I'm saying? So you're running around with a whole bunch of threes in your pocket, and you only even got one or two. Your pockets is mad heavy. They'd be light if you knew what you was doing. Language. We use five human beings and voice sounds and often written symbols representing these sounds in combinations and patterns to express and communicate thoughts and feelings. Communicate? Thoughts and feelings. You know, that word thought comes up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> what is the thought? That's not this class. But check this out. So it's produced by who? Or what? Human beings. So dogs don't got a language? Guess not. Now in America, listen, I don't know what your nationality is, but if in your nation, dogs be speaking languages and all that, this would suck. But as far as here in America, human beings hold the key to civilization in order to build upon and produce and create languages, which is a form of communication that express thoughts, feelings. Thoughts. So that means thoughts are different than feelings. So thoughts are different than feelings. Can you think?